Okay, it is time to start painting our canvas. Now, we are going to be painting our canvas using quick sticks, paint sticks, tempera markers. Uh, I think this is going to be a lot of fun and this is going to be very different, of course, than what Van Gogh would have done. Van Gogh, of course, used layers and layers of paint here. And if you're able to look at the printout I included, you will see the layers of paint here. That was called impasto painting. You can see the chunky layers of paint here, and it almost looks like it wasn't blending. That is a spe specific technique there called impasto. Can you say impasto, boys and girls? I really, this is one of Mrs. Horvath's favorite techniques there. It's where you do not mix the colors so they are entirely blended. It's really where you can see the white layered on top of the blue here, the white layered on top of the yellow. It really just gives a unique characteristic to his paintings. So though we are using quick sticks, we are going to do our very best to replicate impasto painting in the style of Vincent van Gogh. Now, I want to tell you something fun. Vincent van Gogh, of course, did his sunflower series first with the blue background to replicate stained glass windows. And then he moved on to doing them only in the yellow, which was his light on light series. Now, since we are doing interpretations of van Gogh's sunflowers, we do not have to stay in the colors that Van Gogh did. And we are using our quick sticks markers, so we have slightly different colors than Van Gogh did, of course. And we're a little limited on how we can mix our colors since we don't have the same paints that Van Gogh did. So I am going to do something a little different and use different colors for my sunflowers than you might see. But I think that's okay because why can't I have, for instance, some navy blue in my sunflowers or some aqua in my paintings? And boys and girls, though I am picking these color sticks, I want you to feel free once you've seen mine to use your own creativity. If you want pink or purple, this is your Van Gogh sunflower painting. Please do whatever you love. Again, the word interpretation means you interpret it. You do what you love of Van Gogh's sunflowers. So I can't wait to see these when they are all finished, okay? So this is what I'm going to use. I would love it if you feel like doing the same thing as me. I would love it if you'd like to do something different. Okay, boys and girls, so let's go ahead and get started. Now, I wanted to share one thing. As I was thinking about what I wanted to do, I did go ahead and grab two more colors. I have this dark orange and I have just a typical orange. I decided to go ahead and grab those as I may add a touch of those in my flowers. So if you'd like to follow along with what I'm doing, I suggest maybe you grab those quick sticks and add those to your collection here. Okay, the first thing we are going to start with drawing is our sunflowers. So I am going to start with my giant yellow here. So I'm going to take my quick sticks and I'm going to follow along with the path of this first yellow sunflower here. So I'm going to take that and just go right around in a loose edge and just kind of keep going around until I get about right there. I am not going to fill in the middle. Once I'm here, I'm going to take my dark blue. Yes, dark blue, my friends. I told you this is Mrs. Horvath's interpretation, right? I've decided this is what I'm gonna do with my sunflowers and why can't I have dark blue in there? I am going to take a loose circle 
inside this sunflower, it's one big sunflower. Do you see what I'm doing? And I've made a dark blue middle. Yes, I have. A dark blue middle right there. Now I still have a lot of white. Do you see? I haven't filled everything in. I'm going to put this off to the side. I'm using my dark blue and my yellow. Now, I'm going to take a little bit of this orange, the lighter orange I mentioned, and just fill in a few of those squiggly lines. Dab, dab, not a lot, just some. Don't go too close to the blue or you will drag the blue. I'm really staying out here. Oh, I got a little blue. Now I'm just going to take a little wipe and wipe right off on my quick sticks if I get anything on there, but that's okay. It's always okay. Just going to keep putting this orange in here. I love how this orange is mixing with the yellow. Isn't that beautiful? Okay, I still haven't gone right next to the blue and yellow. Do you see that? I'm still leaving it alone a little bit. I am going to take this darker orange. I'm going to be very careful with it because it's dark. I'm going to just take a tiny bit. I'm going to put it right next to the blue and go a little bit, a little bit, right around it. Do you see how I've made a line right around it? Not too much, but I've made a beautiful line right around it. Now, if you get too much blue on your quick stick, see that? I'm going to suggest you take a little wipe or a paper towel and just wipe it off so it's nice and clean again. Now, with that darker orange, you can go right around the outside of that sunflower, give it a little trace, and then come back with that lighter orange and go right over it also. We are blending these colors together. We're layering colors a little bit like Van Gogh would have done. We're trying to create a little bit of impasto. Do you see how Mrs. Horvath is going back and forth using the light orange over that dark orange? And it's all over the yellow I put down first. And look at that blue in the middle. It's awfully pretty, isn't it? Okay. Now we have this here. I think I would like to take my white a teeny tiny bit of my white and, oh, do you see how my white's dirty? But that's okay because I'm using it in the blue. Just give a little accent, just a little accent, a little shading. I'm going to go swoop, swoop, just a little accent right in here. Okay, and then we should probably clean that off. And I feel like I have a beautiful flower. How is yours, boys and girls? Let's go ahead and move to our next flower. 
Now for our next one, let's start with our center first. I'm going to start on this one because we partially have this one done. Let's put a little bit of our blue or whatever color you like in there. Maybe you don't want the blue in the middle. I like the blue in the middle, but you don't have to. I'm gonna come back with my yellow. Now this flower's a little connected. Start tracing this round just to here, right? A little bit here. Lay down my yellow first. Remember, I'm not really gonna get it into that blue. There we go. Come back with some of my light orange. Next, wiggle it in there. Wiggle, wiggle. And next, let's add some of that dark orange in there. Now it can be wherever you want, right around the blue. Beautiful. Go right around the edge here. There we go. Now I need to come back with my light orange and do some blending. Let's go right over that edge. And use this light orange as a blender. Do you see how that's blending those? Beautiful. I love that. Now let's use this white for a little accent here. Oh, my white is awfully dirty. Do you see that? So what do I need to do? Clean it off. There we go. And then I can put some white in here. Boys and girls, I am going to let you do this top one. You can just watch me, okay? Here we go. Beautiful sunflowers. Our next step here, we should move on to our vase. Now, part of our vase is covered already with our beautiful, exploding, happy sunflowers. They make me feel so good. I think I am going to have a blue vase. So that is what I'm going to do. Now, I think what I will do is use my light blue for my vase. I am going to take my light blue quick stick. And the first thing I'm going to do is outline the rest of my vase. So let's draw a line around the rest of our vase here. Great job. Let's go ahead and outline right here where it meets the flowers so that we don't get into what we've already drawn with the flowers. Do you see how I did that? That way we know we don't wanna get into those flowers. So we're gonna try and do some impasto drawing here. So we're gonna try and do some quick strokes like Vincent maybe would have done with his paintbrush. So using our blue, our lighter blue, we're going to make short strokes just like Vincent did right here. Do you see these back and forth vertical and horizontal strokes 
Let's try and do that right here. We are going to fill up our vase First of all, I'm going all up and down. And then I'm gonna go. Do you see how I'm doing that? Staying all inside the outline of what we've done. Now, when you get close to the edges, of course, you're going to have to be careful and you want to just color those. Because we don't want to go outside the lines of our vase. But still leave some white spots, please, because we are going to come back and fill those in with a different color. So let's carefully fill in right around the edges there. Okay. So once your vase looks something like this, if you would like to, I think I'm going to take this green and I'm going to try and add a little bit of different color on top of it to layer it like Vincent. So right over here, I think I will start making some strokes to the side like that. I love how that looks. Side, just to the side. I think that's all I will do right there. Right here, I'll make a few that go down. Look at that. That's looking great. So I've now added in some green. I love how that looks. I'm going to come back with my white now and layer on a third color. Anywhere I see some of the white canvas showing through that I didn't get with the white, I mean with the blue or green quick stick, I am going to dab with this white quick stick. Do you see how I'm doing that? And do you see how it's magically giving me almost a Vincent Van Gogh? I'm not going like this, boys and girls. I'm making short brush-like strokes, just like Vincent would have done almost in an impasto manner, layering my paint. So anywhere there's white left from the canvas, we don't wanna over blend. Do you see how you can see the green, the blue? When you're tempted to overblend, don't do it. Leave it as is. Oh, I think it looks beautiful. Go right around the edge with my white. And there is our beautiful vase. I am loving it so far. <laughs> 